Okay, you guys, so he's up. I don't know if y'all can see him. There he is. Right there, if y'all see him. He's been lurking all morning long. And there he is. I, I don't think y'all can imagine how big he is. He is huge. So, all of the chickens are up though. I haven't let any of them out. They're not even coming out of their coops. Um, I think they know that they're in danger, so they're just going to stay put up. But, there he is. Ooh, the lighting. Hey guys, it's Shanna from the Five and Family Homestead. I'm not sure if you remember me. Uh, it's taxidermy season, so I haven't been on a lot of videos, but I wanted to come to you today because we had a loss on the homestead. Uh, we had a hawk get one of our full-grown chickens. It was sad. It was really, really sad, and I had a really hard time with it because I know that God can tend, it, how God intended the circle of life to go, but we've never, in the 10 years that we've had chickens, 10 years have never had problems with aerial predators, especially a hawk. Our chickens free range, and I guess we were just naive to think, well, it wouldn't happen to us, and it did, and it was horrible. <laughs> the whole experience was horrible. So. We were inside and Reed opened the back door and he saw our chickens were out in the yard and he started yelling that there was a hawk. We came and ran down here to the coop as quick as we could and we tried to put everyone up. Now remember they're free range so it's a little bit harder to get them up when it's not time because they don't want to go up. So we tried to put them up and got most of them up except one. She had gone under our shed to hide while she was under there. I left the coop door open thinking, well, if she decides to come out, she can go up in the coop with them. Well, a couple hours later, Reed opens the door again. He starts yelling that there's a hawk. And at that point, I think she came out and the hawk um, got her and killed her. Um, it was horrible. It was, it was tragic for all of us. He also injured one of the other chickens. So we got them all up, put them up in their coop and then became concerned about the silkies because they're smaller i was afraid that he may have gotten one of them immediately went over to the coop but our rooster uh silky he actually did his job and he put them up so they were tucked away in their coop and nothing was going to get them and i was really happy about that so i locked the coop for them locked the big coop and for the next several days i did not let them out at all um, they weren't even allowed to come out when we were out here because that hawk, he stayed around for days, days and days and days. I mean, to the point where at, I looked out here and he was on top of the coop, like perched up there watching. So they didn't get to come out. They were in jail for probably four or five days. Anyways, so that stinks. We were really sad about it and now it's going on to plan b of what we're going to do to protect the chickens because they are not going to be allowed to free range anymore uh at least um well they're not going to be allowed to free range we're going to put them in a smaller area with netting over the top to keep aerial predators out um i hate that because i really do like them in the yard but i would rather them be, in the, be safe than um be taken and uh, hurt or harmed so that's the plan anyways I was gonna show you here's our girls they've been in prison hopefully we can get them situated the plan is to take this back area and kind of close it in you can kind of see the feathers from the chicken that he killed but anyways, we're going to put this back area and we're going to put some netting over the top and that's kind of where they're going to be. It's a, it'll be like a big walk-in coop. Again, I hate it because I wish they could free range, but I don't want any other casualties on the homestead because it was awful. Anyways, I just want to bring you guys that update. Stinks. Really, really stinks. Um, 
I feel chickens are kind of helpless in a way and it's our job to protect them and I felt like we didn't protect them even though I mean the hawk was just doing what he is instinctual to do and he got them and I, I don't know we've taken a hit we've had we had a chicken over the summer at the end of the summer who passed away and then we had two that passed away over the last month one of them was some kind of respiratory I'm I know there's different respiratory for chickens and I don't know the names of them or I can't pronounce them I'm sure that's what it is the other one was just older she was like seven or eight we lost her in a month so anyways we only have seven now and <laughs> we laugh because at the beginning of this end of the summer we had 15 we sold a bunch and then now we're down to seven but we'll just buy more <laughs> isn't that what you do like chicken math you lose some and then you buy five or six more which is probably what we're going to do anyways guys thanks for watching thanks if y'all have any suggestions um, on ways to deter hawks now I've heard hanging CDs in the tree hanging um, a fake owl that you move around those are all temporary so I didn't know if anything was permanent of course permanent would be we put them in the this little area and we cover them with a net that's gonna be permanent but I'm anxious to see if anybody who still allows their chickens to free range if they have something to help keep the hawks away now I know a rooster a full-grown rooster is one of them but with our neighbors really close in proximity to us roosters are a no-go we've had two both of them were jerks and both of them were loud so that's not an option so any other suggestions I am would love to hear them again they're not gonna free range so I'm probably not gonna use the suggestions but I would like to know just for future um, if maybe somebody else asked me or whatever that was a lot hope you guys stuck around we'll see you next time bye Where are we trapping? At a friend of ours. Look we'll behind you. I think we got feed. As, uh, not a couple videos back, but a while back, we came down here fishing in this pond right here definitely fuller than it was last time and um, this is the same place and we're gonna set a live trap and maybe some couple foothold traps sometime soon yep. or get some more live tra traps and he's really close oh buddy come here come here that tan cow that's eaten out of the hay it's really nice and you can cut it all right, so what are you putting in there for bait? Tuna fish. Because marshmallows mm. ants eat them all. Have you seen any tracks around this pond in the past? Yes, a bunch. Yeah. So, as y'all know, raccoons wash their hands before they eat, so it's going to be a bite of water. Because then they can wash their hands and then have a good meal. The raccoons are not good. So you going to put it by that, that tree over there, maybe? Yeah, that looks like... I think raccoons climb. And like stay in trees? Yes, they do. Okay, so then a tree would be a good And I'm scared. Our tree by our house, I could be on my four wheeler at nine and it just falls in my head. That wouldn't be good. Look all those dove. I wish that would happen to us at our field. Golly, there's 30 of them.
This looks pretty raccoonish to me. I know. Right there. Right down there? Yeah. I like it. Watch all this. Now that. Now it's good. How does the grass just change? Like it goes from just the regular grass to like tiny trees like at the least. It looks like down in here it probably stays wet a lot and I bet you the cows don't go down here much. See how wet it is right there? Yeah. So I would go right up here and set it up up that way so we're not down in the mud. I'm gonna use mud boots so I can it. I'll get a raccoon in the next 24 <laughs> hours. I don't know where I could get one. Raccoons who wash their hands over here. Yeah, it's a good place to sleep. <laughs> I'll get my tuna fish and I'll just some cuts in it. So they can smell it. Then they'll rip it open once they get caught in there and I'll just rebait it. That's how you set a trap right there. There you go. Obie. I don't know. If there ain't a raccoon living around here somewhere, I'd be surprised. It's kind of swampy, wet. It runs back. It looks like a trail, too. Yeah. There's a the tank dam is right here and then it's wet all the way down to this low area and then there's a like a crossing that goes underneath the road there and then it goes back down and there's a big creek back down there so oh, got some wounds it's funny i didn't even know that happened so guys thank you for i don't know why i have grass so guys, thank you for watching this video. If y'all haven't already, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, hit the notification bell, so you'll always be notified on our next video. And take it, don't let hawks get your chickens, because that's not fun. And also, like Adler Farm, stay calm, always true. <laughs> that should be on a t-shirt. Chad, I texted Chad last night, and he also said he's gonna put the Humpty Dumpty on a t-shirt. <laughs> Uh, we will tell them we'll we'll uh, update them on the next video or two how it's, how the trapping on the new spots going. Yeah, we'll update y'all soon. Like I feel like those raccoons will just go up in here and just sleep, and then in the morning <laughs> they'll just come out and go in there. We'll find out. Hmm?